chase and a head-on crash, all within just minutes. Tonight, a look at the damage done after a suspect tries to dodge the law. The driver there nearly hit a police cruiser. Good evening, I'm Paula Evans. And I'm Liam Martin. This all happened this morning in Taunton, starting near Middleborough Ave. And within just seven minutes, ending with the wreck miles away on Dean Street, WBC's Bill Shields is live tonight with the latest on this chase and crash. Bill? Well, Liam, police here in Taunton say that last week, 18-year-old Joseph Dyer stole a car. They caught him, recovered the car. Today, he taunted a police officer with his father's car. A chase started, and it ended right here on Route 44. The officer followed him, went in behind him, uh, activated his overhead lights and attempted to stop the vehicle. So a chase started, and this was the result. The driver of the minivan lost control and smashed into this car. Police say this is the 18-year-old who taunted police, then sped off. Joseph Dyer, he now has a broken leg. First there was two, then there was four, then there was six. It had then 20 cop cars had to end up at the scene. Sylvester English was smoking meats at his usual spot on Route 44 when the chase came by. As they speeded by me, I just heard a boom, and I looked down past the bridge, and there was a big crash, head-on-head -head collision. It was a chase down the usually busy Route 44, but it was mid-morning when traffic was a little lighter. Speed's not too fast, 40 to 45. Police say there are many factors that go into whether to chase or to break it off. I think that uh, sometimes pursuits are necessary evil, but we have to weigh the good with the intent, and so uh, we have to uh, take a look at every pursuit. And the driver the dire hit head on, that's 42 year old David Correa. He only suffered a broken nose. He'll be fine. Reporting live from Taunton, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.